lives and has to spend on all of them regardless as to what they make? Financially? There you have the religion of Islam. A religion of responsibility. And not a religion of indulgence as people think. But before I let you go with this particular point, I would ask you a question. We just made mention not too long ago that the Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, was asked, who has more right to my good treatment? And he said three times, your mother. And of course, all the mothers are what? They're women. And then the fourth time he said, your father. Once again, it shows the lofty status that the woman has in Islam. So therefore, if you take the lofty status that she has, the fact that the man has to take care of them on a on a level that most people didn't think, all of a sudden now, the fact that she gets half of the inheritance of the man is actually not so far-fetched because she's not entitled to spend anything on her family or her children except that which she wishes. Before accepting Islam, I can say that I, I had a very uh, structured life, so to speak. Um, we, you know, everything was mapped out for us, you know, when to eat, when to go to bed, when, uh, you know, like this, homework and school and everything. Um, but after high school, things kind of got a little hectic for me. Um, going to uh, college. Uh, I had freedoms that I had never experienced before and so it allowed me to experience things that I hadn't had the chance to experience before. Um, I wanted to see what uh, going to a club was like. I wanted to see other things so I experienced uh, things from this and things from that. I went here, I went there, I wanted to you know to see things and do things that I had never done before. You know, and um, so after doing all of these things, I kind of felt as if um, I didn't have guidance anymore. I didn't have structure anymore. And so I started seeking uh, uh, guidance and structure. I started calling my father more. I started reading the Bible more and things like this. Um, how I accepted Islam um, is pretty easy, I would say. As I said before, you know, I was searching for guidance and things to, to, to hold on to, to grasp on to, so to speak, um, things that could give me, uh, uh, what do you call it, uh, something solid to hold on to. You know, so I started reading the Bible, and um, from reading the Bible, I read how the prophets used to pray. So I started to pray how the prophets used to pray. Um, that was uh, whenever I read that Jesus, he fell on his face and he prayed to his Lord. Yahya, alayhi salam, he fell on his face and he prayed to his Lord. So I started to fall on my face, so to speak, make sajda, or to make prostration on my hands and knees and put my face to the, to the floor. And I started to pray this way. And so uh, uh, my friends and, and I, we were reading books and expressing what we read over lunch. A Muslim was sitting by us. He was listening to our conversation, and when he finished his lunch, he stood and he said, uh, do you guys know about Al-Islam? So we found out that we didn't know about Islam, and we started to go to classes. He taught us about uh, the Shahada, about the prayer, about Zakat, about fasting, about Hajj. Um, when we went over the prayer, and I saw how he prayed um, in, in Sujood, then I knew that Islam was the truth. It was the Haq at that point. Um, since accepting Islam, I can say that I have the structure and the stability that I was always seeking. Um, uh, as a Muslim, you know every day how your day is going to begin and how your day is gonna, going to end. And that's praising Allah. 
Um, we wake up in the morning praying. We go to bed at night after praying. Um, throughout the day, we remember, we're, we remember, remember Allah. Um, uh, and then you have work, of course. You have your family. So your day is structured. And these things are, are, are the basic elements that uh, you know any person needs, not just a Muslim. And uh, alhamdulillah, you know, I, I have them now. So I'm, and I'm very happy to do that. Some people say that the Muslim worships Muhammad. Well, this is incorrect and false. Actually, the Muslim emulates the character of the Messenger of Allah. Because as Allah says, verily, in the, messenger, in the Messenger, you have a good example to follow. So the Muslim does not prostrate to or worship Muhammad. The Muslim worships only Allah. But we worship Allah according to the way that the Prophet Muhammad, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him, taught us to worship him. Because it's not for us to worship our Creator any way that we want. We have to worship him in the way that the Creator intended for us to worship and communicated that to us through his Prophet, may Allah's peace and blessings be upon him. Amen. Mm -hmm.